stone of this ancient city is an evidence of its deep roots and rich history. It is known for its ancient architecture masterpieces, which were listed by UNESCO as a cultural heritage site. One of these monuments of culture and history is the mausoleum of Aisha Bibi and medieval city in vicinity of which the monument was erected. Center of science and culture, crafts and trade, the city of merchants, Taras. Aisha Bibi mausoleum is a heritage monument of 12th century. Travelers make sure they visit mausoleum on their way to Taras and bow their heads in memory of deceased one. They used burnt clay bricks for constructing the mausoleum. 62 different types of patterns were used for its ornamentation. There is a belief among the people that 62 artists from different kings and tribes were employed to work on ornaments. Some undocumented sources claim that clay from which bricks were made was brought from Samarkand. The firing of bricks had also happened under the sun of Samarkand. According to the legend, Aisha Bibi was a bride of the founder of Karahani dynasty, Karahan. Mausoleum, situated to the west from Taras in Aisha Bibi settlement of Jambul region, was built after his command. Unfortunately, names of masters who built it are not known. It is known for sure, though, that those complex ornaments are being used in Kazakh applied arts since Scythian times and therefore are definitely great heritage objects. Considering Aisha Bibi herself, apart from legends passing from one generation to another, there are no other historical data of her. The legend of beautiful Aisha started during 11th, 12th centuries. In several versions, there is a mentioning of her father's name, Aikoja. Considering Aisha Bibi, she was a daughter of someone named Aikoja. People referred to him as Zengi Baba. As you may know, Zengi Baba is believed to be a protector of cattle. Her mother's name was Anwar Begim. The structure that survived many centuries had gone through some tough times. As a result, from the initial construction, only western wall was left. There were several attempts to restore the mausoleum, but for various reasons it was never completed. In 2001, the project of restoration was approved and mausoleum, which was kept under the sarcophagus for many years, gradually got its glory and beauty back. For three years, artisans of Turkestan branch of the Republican Agency of Construction, Repair and Restoration were making blocks with numerous ornaments for cladding by hand. The making involved ancient technology using special furnace. Works like reinforcement of foundation, rising up walls, cladding walls with several terracotta blocks, elevation of tholobate, pendentives, in and outer domes. Improvement of territory, electrification and fencing works were also completed. The mausoleum of Aisha Bibi was fully restored by 2004. It is a marvelous creation of human artistry that attracts many people. Wedding cottages start their ceremonious way right here. Newlyweds eagerly believe that whoever visits the mausoleum of everlasting bride in their wedding day will live long and happy lives together. For them, Aisha Bibi is a symbol of purity, chastity and loyalty. Newlyweds from Taras and neighboring regions are visiting mausoleums of both Aisha Bibi and Kara Han, as if handing over messages from one to another. Architectural monument of Karahani Deepak doesn't have analogues in architecture and construction culture of Kazakhstan and Central Asia. In order to understand the beauty of this construction, to feel the atmosphere of the mausoleum, one ought to visit the place. Aisha Bibi mausoleum can be rightfully considered as another wonder of the world. There are numerous touching love legends that transmitted orally throughout generations. Like the one of Taj Mahal, fabulous construction, a symbol of the great Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan's tender love towards his wife Mumtaz. The jewel of Muslim art in India was built of ivory-white marble. 
I shall be be mausoleum is as grandiose and complicated from the architectural point of as this worldwide known palace. Uniqueness of this mausoleum is that it was built from burnt bricks with terracotta plates cladding. Each plate is decorated with unique, multifarious ornaments. There are more than 28 versions of a legend of great love of Eastern beauty Aisha Bibi and courageous Karahan. According to one of them, Aisha Bibi was a daughter of well-known protector of cattle, Zengi Baba. Rumors of the beauty of young Aisha went far around the steppe. But it was brave Karahan who won over the heart of a beauty. Sweethearts decide to marry. However, at the same exact time, the news arrives. An enemy had entered Karahan's lands. Batur has to leave his bride. Days go by, months, years, but there is no sign of Karahan's return. Young woman makes decision to go see her beloved one in Taras. Baba Jahatun is accompanying her. The rule of Karahani dynasty, occupied with weighty matters of state, could not come to his sweetheart. Why Zaisha makes a decision that will turn out fatal. Young woman leaves for the road against her father's will. By the way, Mazars of her parents, Aikoja and Anwar Begim, are in the vicinity of Tashkent, a place Aisha was born in. So, from Tashkent, she leaves for Taras in search for her beloved one. Weary of a long road, Aisha decides to have a rest near the lake. While maid servants are making fire, young woman lays down after bathing in the lake. She doesn't even suspect the proximity of death. A snake hiding in her headwear bites her. Upon getting a note about the unfortunate event, Karahan immediately arrives to the lake. Crushed with grief, he makes decision to tie themselves with earth either way. Aisha is passing away in the arms of her sweetheart during the nuptials. Then Karahan gives an order to build the most glorious and beautiful mausoleum, a place where his loved one would rest in peace forever. The tomb of Karahan himself is located in Taras. In accordance with Muslim traditions, the deceased were buried where they had passed away meaning they were not taken back to their homelands. That is why the boat of Aisha Bibi was not taken back to Tashkent and instead was buried in the ground of ancient Taras. After the death of Aisha Bibi, Baba Jahatun made a vow to remain there, to take care of the tomb. Baba Jahatun became a guardian of the mausoleum and after her death was buried 20 steps away from it. Today, Aisha Bibi Mausoleum is a place special honored by infertile women who come to ask for children and strengthen their family. It is astonishing that after visiting this sacred site, many women actually get to enjoy the joys of motherhood. Newlyweds drive up here to read a prayer in memory of deceased one and ask for protection of their unity. Tourists from around the world visit this symbolic place. Mausoleum itself is a square construction. Design includes small niches, pillars, vaults, and lancet arches. A headstone is right in the middle of the mausoleum. Corner pillars get narrow with heights and are decorated with line of floral ornament tiles from above. A niche with lancet arch is located in the center of facade. Inside walls an archer, Turkic name for juniper, beams were laid in order to strengthen the walls and pillars. 
Being built from burnt bricks, mausoleum is encased with terracotta plates. The width of walls of the mausoleum, 80 centimeters. The wall itself consists of three parts. On western pillars, three to four meters high from foundation, there are inscriptions in Arabic alphabet. On one of the corner pillars, you could see some fragments of old distich. Autumn, clouds, beautiful land. Interestingly, that inscription is on the 18th brick from the ground. Experts consider the connection with the age of Aisha Bibi. The original inscription is preserved at Jambul Regional Museum. There are original samples of Aisha Bibi mausoleum bricks in our Jambul Regional Historical Museum. Here, for instance, is the inscription that was drawn on one of the corner pillars. Autumn, clouds, beautiful land. This writing was found on the upper part of the mausoleum. Inside walls and archer beams were laid in order to strengthen the walls and pillars. External walls are covered with carved terracotta plates secured with wedges on the rear side. There are more than 60 types of pattern and ornamentation of plates. Aisha Bibi Mausoleum is a historical and cultural monument of national importance and is under government protection. For example, this burnt brick was made by one master, while this one by another. There is a combination of traditional types of ornamental crafts of ancient tribes of Kazakhstan, including geometric, zoomorphism and solar motifs. Looking closely, a mausoleum's dome resembles a bridal headwear, saukile. The crown of the construction reminds of unexposed flower bud, which symbolizes youth, chastity of Aisha. After the restoration, the height of a mausoleum became 14 meters, whereas its initial height was 18 meters. Moreover, the distance between Karahan and Aisha Bibi mausoleums makes up 18 kilometers. From these observations, it is obvious that number 18 was present throughout the calculations of construction works, as if reminding of a young age of Aisha. Unfortunately, the mausoleum was not preserved in its original form. The cultural heritage governmental program gave us an opportunity to reconstruct it. Restoration work successfully ended, and in 2005 we had a grand opening. The head of the state was present himself during the ceremony of revealing the historical monument. Since then, the mausoleum is a destination point for many people. These days, the mausoleum is one of the main objects that boosts the development of tourism in Jambal region. It is known for being valuable, if not the only one, historical architectural monument in Kazakhstan and in all Central Asia that is decorated in such a unique, inimitable manner. Another monument of medieval culture is mausoleum of Baba Jahatun, not far from Aisha Bibi mausoleum. Legend says that she was a nanny to Aisha Hatun and after the death of the latter was nursing a fire on her burial. Mausoleum was built in 11th century on a hillock next to Aisha Bibi mausoleum. Mausoleum is distinguished with strict simplicity of form, laconism of construction and architectural deco, and skillful use of burnt bricks. Unfortunately, stories of building this construction, as well as information about Baba Jahatun herself, did not make it to our times. No archaeological excavations performed at the site. What remained is a beautiful 16-edged maki-like dome. Ribbed coating of this high dome has no analogs in ancient Central Asian architecture. In 1979, the historical object was renovated. Baba Jahatun was... Baba Jahatun mausoleum is a symbol of loyalty and selflessness. Losing Aisha Bibi in a foreign land, Baba Jahatun considered it her duty to remain there and take care of the grave until her very last days. Admiring her true character, local dwellers decided to erect a mausoleum in her honor and praise her as saint. The construction is dated 11-12 centuries. There are two completely different mausoleums built by different masters, which is the evidence of a high cultural level of the epoch. Baba Jahatun mausoleum is almost cubical in form. The building is crowned with faceted tholobate, which had acted as a foundation for 16th age tapered dome, which unfortunately hadn't survived two hour days. 
The main facade was similar to the rest with the exception of having a parapet. On this parapet, there is a writing in Arabic. This is the tomb of Baba Jahatun, its architect. The end of epitaph naming the master unfortunately was not preserved. In the center of the main facade, which faces the east, a roundish arch was built, designating the only entry into the mausoleum. Aisha Bibi Mausoleum stands for 10 centuries, in spite of challenges of time, as a witness of a great love. It is known well abroad of Kazakhstan. It is acknowledged worldwide as a unique historical and cultural heritage object of medieval times. Visitors claim that they are deeply affected by the aura that gives strength, enriches with deep feelings, and makes one think of importance of the abundant heritage with God from our ancestors.